Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Prince Yoshi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing Pokemon Snap, the one for the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited, I reserved this game from the public library. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. If not, hey, I got a joke for you. Why are Pokemon afraid to use the internet? They're too afraid of getting caught on the web. Pokemon Snap. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. New Pokemon Snap. Alright, bet. I guess that's me. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm gonna be a photographer today. Oh, it's a baddie on deck calling my name, huh? What's good, shouty? Greetings. Oh, damn. She got a man already. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or L-E-N-S for short. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Linton Lintal region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one, aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right, our, right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. All right, allow me to explain. The lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Thank you. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. Nice. That's that new technology right there. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's go outside. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Aha, perfect timing. Oh, she about to speak for me. I don't even gotta read it, huh? Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Alright. Yes! Nice going! Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? See 
that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's called a pointer. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow it. All right, bet. Give it a try. All right, Rita. Okay. Oh, he he. You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around. Oh, let's spin around. Okay. All right, bet. You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. Okay, I could look up. Oh, hold up. Let me take a picture of Pikachu. Try getting a shot of that Pikachu. First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Mm-hmm. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photos. Try snapping a photo. Pikachu's a little far away. It looks kind of small, huh? Times like this call for zooming in. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Pause. Oh, snap. <laughs> How much bigger it looked that time? Wow, that's deep. <laughs> You're doing great. Oh, great. You can adjust your camera and motion controls to the settings menu. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. All right, bet. Hey, professor, we've covered the basics. Simple enough. Let's get to the wild. Hello. Photos taken three, Pokemon photograph two. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you First took. Off. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. You can choose the photo. Oh, okay. All right, let's choose this one. Next, try selecting the Vivalon, Vivalon folder. Press plus or select show professor when you're ready for me to evaluate your shots. Starting with photo, no photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now I know there was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. 
With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. I'm ready. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. I'm ready. I'm ready to go into the wild with my camera. A new discovery. Next, Vivalon, a new addition to our research. Nice work. I'm ready. I'm ready. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Why he got his hand on his hip like that? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. <laughs> yeah. That should do it. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photograph expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo one. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not too long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Hey! Enjoy your first photo expedition! Thank you. Peace out. So I get the ride and take pictures. Oh, hold up. Let me take better pictures. Dordrio got one. Let me take a better picture, too. I already took one of a Vivalon, but. Oh, look. What? Oh, this one, this one, this Pikachu, or Pichu, or whatever it's called. Yep, Pichu. Oh, we get to ride through this? Nice. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, why you turn around? <laughs> Oh, this is tight. I feel like I'm on a tour. Hold up. That's not a Pokemon. That might be poop. <laughs> oh, this is tight, though. Hold up. Crystal Boom. Oh, hold up. Oh, look at that. Magic card. I'm taking a picture of every damn thing. You know what they say. Gotta catch them all. Oh, look, I'm getting closer. Damn. I already got one, though, y'all. Got a Pichu. That was amazing. All right, let's try to. Oh, look, look, look. That one's not the best picture, though. Wait, is that Pokemon? 
Oh. I think I got one of them, right? <laughs> that one's probably a better picture than the ones I had before. Oh, hold on, hold on, no. I think I got a worm pool before. I'm taking a picture of everything again. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. I got that before too. That's probably the best picture I got of that bird though. What the heck is a comfrey? Comfy. Duh, a Pokemon. This is not bad, y'all. I really feel like I'm on a journey, yo. That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Okay. Basically, it's the end of the course. Okay, bet. So I'm assuming that like we probably gotta go through like an area and take a picture of every Pokemon in that area. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in a Florio natural park. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. All right, bet. Damn, I really couldn't get that. Oh, it was far. That was far away, though. I think this is a good one. I should have got more of these comfy, comfies. That was the best one. That's a good one. That one's a good one because it was like real close up. That was a good one. And that one was asleep in the tree. What the heck? I don't even know what the hell that is. I thought it. Alright. Oh, it's Vivalon. It takes my breath away. I see it's in flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? The one that's the, the new photo, duh. The one that's the best. A new discovery. Next, we've got Dodrio, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon faces too. Grookey. Next is Grookey, a new addition to our research. Nice Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement is looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. That thing was far away. So, like, next is Buffalant, a new one of your Pokédex. Ah, I see. What a fascinating behavior. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. It was kind of far away. Like, The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. A new Next, we've got Pichu, a new addition to our research. 
It seems calm. <laughs> Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. He was turned around, shit. <laughs> Wurmple. A new discovery. Next, we've got Wurmple. A new one of your photo decks. A new one for your photo decks. Nice Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Comfy. Things is like one of the last ones I took. Next is Comfy, a new addition to our research. I see it's in flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Having our Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. Tail low. Next, we've got Tail low, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. I might be pronouncing some of these Pokemon wrong. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. Swana. Next is Swana, a new one for your po photo decks. Nice Great job getting the Pokemon to look straight at you. Magikarp. Next is Magikarp, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Oh, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement is looking good. Centering your photo. Centering your subject balances the photo well. So they're basically saying the same thing. Bidoof. Next, we've got Bidoof. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Looks like it's busy building a lodge. Fantastic, you've captured exactly the right moment. When you're framing your shot, be careful how you position the Pokemon's face and body. Hoot hoot. That's that owl sleep in a tree. Next, we've got Hoot Hoot. This is the first time we've, you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I wonder if it's going to tell me like if I got all the Pokemon in the area. The direction could be better. Watch for when it looks right at the camera. How am I going to look at the camera and it will sleep? Be happy I got this shit. Damn. It's like, nah. <laughs> How was it? So what did you think? Anyway. I should be asking you that. One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one star to four star. So, so in short, fill up that Pokedex, keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Mm -hmm. I'd never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. Photo program newbie, you researched Florio Nat Nature Park for the first time. Look this way, you got a score of 1,000 points or more in the direction category during a photo evaluation. Smack dab in the middle. Save photos to album, return it. Save photos. After your research trips, you can choose photos to save to your album, which is in your space in the lab. You can also choose resnap to make some changes to photos before you save them. Save. Are these 
Oh, bro, like, let's cancel save. I thought I already, like, why is... Let's go back, bro. Like, why do I have to return to camp? I'm thinking, like, he saved them automatically, the pictures I took that I, like, picked. Saving to the Nintendo Switch system. You can save your photos to your Nintendo Switch album. It gotta be a nice ass Pokemon for me to want to save that. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Update announcement. New areas added. Okay. New Pokemon encounters await you in these newly added areas. I did have to download an update before I start playing this game. You got a filter. You got a sticker. You got a sticker. You got a sticker. <laughs> you got a frame. Damn, I only went on one expedition. Y'all giving me a lot. Oh, this must be part of the update. Um, Shoot, to be honest with you, I might end it right there, and there will be a part two of this Pokemon Snap. It's been fun. This is basically just like the tutorial type part, but it is a good game. It's not bad. I can only imagine like me keep playing. It'll get better and there'll be more areas. You know, I'll go snap Pokemon at nighttime. I'll go snap Pokemon in the snow or in the desert or maybe on another planet. Who knows? But stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, much love. Peace.